Traffic experts are questioning the Minnesota Department of Transportation for slow guardrail repairs, potentially opening the door for worse damage and injuries. A car fell off of a bridge during a crash on September 29th after guardrail damage caused by another crash 16 days earlier at that same spot on 169. Fox Lens Corn Hogger talked to experts calling for some change. Headlights disappeared into the guardrail as a car veered off a Highway 169 overpass at Highway 62 on September 13th. The car rolled over, but the driver walked away from the collision. Steve, the guardrail guy, has watched dozens of collisions like this after his daughter died in a guardrail crash in 2016. He says the bullnose guardrail likely saved the driver from injury or death. Look at the success. You prevented this person from going over what's called an elephant trap, the area between the two bridges. This is uh, a beautiful performance. But the guardrail was damaged. In its place, MnDOT placed a cone of orange barrels as a barricade. When a truck veered off the road in the same spot 16 days later, the barricade didn't hold, and the truck fell more than 10 feet down to Highway 62. So I'm like, oh my goodness, they didn't get it fixed, and we saw a completely different outcome. I think it's just terrible. Traffic engineer Craig Moskowitz says some states reduce the risk of escalating collision injuries and damage by requiring repairs to safety installations like guardrails within a short time frame. It's okay to put in a temporary barricade uh, or some kind of temporary barrier, but for an extremely short period of time. Minnesota regulations don't specify a repair time frame. Steve, the guardrail guy, says legislators should consider changing that. He watched with surprise as a driver in the second crash also walked away without major injuries. But he says MnDOT shouldn't gamble on the same outcome in the next crash. Luck is not a safety strategy when it comes to timely repair of guardrails. You can see the orange barrel barricade is back up again now, but that guardrail is still not fixed 20 days since the initial incident. Now, we reached out to MnDOT today before 10 a.m. to ask questions about the repairs process and why this one has taken so long, but they couldn't get us an answer today. In Edina, Corin Hawker, Fox 9.